Gonna show off my top five favorite NBA players of all time. So yeah, let's get started. In Pacific order, favorite player of all time, Kobe Bryant. The 99-2000 jersey, Mitchell and S. My first ever authentic Mitchell and S jersey that I ever purchased. So yeah, I got this like a few months after Kobe Bryant passed away. And uh, it was $300. So yeah, there's no swimman jerseys of Kobe Bryant. Same thing for Michael Jordan. There's only authentics. Wish there was swingman because it is pricey. But yeah, Kobe Bryant. This actually, it's a lot of key moments with this jersey. Is that the game we were against the Trailblazers in 04. And this is a jersey that the Lakers wore when Kobe Bryant completely took over in overtime against Game 4 against the Pacers in the year 2000. Shaq fouled out and he took over. So yeah. Second favorite player of all time, Stephen Curry. Greatest shooter of all time. Gr easily top two greatest point guard of all time. And I easily see him surpassing Magic Johnson by the time his career is over. So Steph Curry changed the game we all play. I mean, changed the game of basketball as we all know it. Everybody shoots threes now. And, and Kobe, to be honest with you, Steph Curry, I'm so happy I can say that I saw the entire career. The 2009 NBA draft is actually the first ever draft that I ever w watched from start to finish. Like every year before 09 and after 09, I only watched like the first round, like the first 15 picks, and that's it. But this year, I, in 2009 specifically, I legit made a goal for myself to watch the entire draft, no matter how long it is, no matter how much fatigue I might feel. So yeah, the whole draft. So Steph Curry, greatest shooter of all time. And obviously, easily the greatest Golden State Warrior of all time. And I easily think Steph is easily top 10 after he got that Finals MVP in 2022. Like before the Finals MVP, you can make an argument for him to be top 10, but now he's officially top 10 with that Finals MVP. Third favorite player of all time, Allen Iverson. I started watching the NBA like in the mid 2000s, like 05 and 06. So like I was able to catch a little bit of Allen Iverson on the Sixers, but I primarily know him for his Nuggets career and his one year stunt with the one year with the Pistons and the Grizzlies and yeah, so forth. So even though I didn't get to see MVP Allen Iverson like I wish I did, like in 01, I'm so glad I saw at least a good portion of his career. And this is actually the the 2001 tag, the 2001 year. This jersey is like, honestly, it's a fact that this jersey is the most popular NBA jersey of all time. This along with the Raptors Vince Carter purple jersey. So yeah, that jersey and this jersey are easily jerseys that you see in everyone's collection. People that don't even watch the NBA have this jersey along with the Raptors Vince Carter jersey. Fourth fair player of all time. And as I'm recording this, as I'm recording this three hours ago, right? Three hours ago. Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics are the 2024 NBA champions, so congrats to them. And yes, I'm a Lakers fan, and I was rooting for the Celtics the whole time. I just wanted Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown to get a ring because they deserve it. They're easily superstar players, amazing players. They deserve a ring. And I'm also happy for Drew Holiday. He got the last laugh. The Bucks and I'm pretty you know, Giannis, you know, traded traded away Drew Holiday, and the Blazers didn't even give him a single chance. So yeah, so Drew Holiday is a champion now, but yeah, and Jalen Brown's finals MVP and deservingly so, deservingly so. Jason Tatum did struggle quite a bit in the finals and didn't really deserve finals MVP, but Jalen Brown deserved it. And my fifth favorite player of all time, Devin Booker. And I was actually part of the NBA group or the NBA fans that actually wanted this man to be traded. Like before they got Chris Paul right, I literally would always say, I always, every year I would always say, Bro, as long as they trade Devin Booker to an actual contender where they can actually use his talent. Because me and all those people were feeling that his talent was being wasted. He was just, you know, carrying the whole Suns team like no success. And to this day, I'm still upset that he did not become an actual All-Star in 2020. He did end up being an All-Star, but he didn't get picked to be an All-Star. He was a replacement for, I believe, Damian Lillard. So, yeah, Devin Booker, I think because of the Suns' horrible seasons before Chris Paul, he never made the All-Star game because of that. And even in 2021, the coaches and all of them did not want to pick him. So it was very, very frustrating to see Devin Booker get, you know, snubbed up All-Star game almost every year because he deserved it almost every single year. And yeah, I think 2020 was the biggest snub. He should have been an All-Star from the beginning instead of being a replacement for Damian Lillard. But yeah, so Devin Booker and speaking of the Phoenix Suns, they're in a big hole that they can't get out of. They're in a situation that it's going to be hard for them to get out of. They traded away so many draft picks for Bradley Beal, even Kevin Durant. And, I mean, Devin Booker is an amazing player, but 
Kevin Durant's up there at age where he's not that good. And Bradley Beal just injury prone. And even when he plays, he's not as good as we expect him to be. So Phoenix is in a huge, huge situation. They don't really have a whole lot of draft picks. And they don't have the cast base to land another superstar. So, so Phoenix right now is pretty much screwed, to be honest. So the Suns, I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, they can try taking Kevin Durant for some young pieces like Trey Young or Donovan Mitchell, but the Hawks and Cavs are not going to want to trade away their star player for like an old Kevin Durant, an injury prone, and not consistent Bradley Beal. So Phoenix, I think that you're going to rebuild and trade everybody away. And there is rumors that D-Book might be sent to you know New York. I think that's good for him because him being on Phoenix, nothing's going to work out for him. So yeah, and that was all my, all my favorite players of all time.